Hey, it's Jessica, and I'm here with my hamster bin of goodies. Basically, it's everything is in here. Treats, food, um, shoes, toys, whatever. And I'm sitting on the ground with a blanket because I'm cold. The AC's on. Vacuum went shoved back in, so you're stuck looking at that. So I'm finally doing my All My Hamster Treats video because that somehow got delayed. People, I said I was going to do it and then I didn't, and then people bugged me about it and then gerbils happened, so obviously you had to put up with all the gerbil videos, which there will be more of. So this is the treats video, so let's get the food out of the way, because we already went through the food, and if you haven't seen the food, you can go back and see the watch the food video, because I will link it in this, in this description. So there you go, huh? This is food too. And this. And this. There. So that's about it. So, um, I'm just going to start grabbing and stuff. There won't be any rhyme or reason to this. So I do have Gerber Puffs. Uh, these ones are the ones I got from Hammy Lux, which I haven't even opened yet because I have two other bottles of these um, that I bought myself. And they're on top of, they're actually on top of the gerbil's cage right now, but, uh, um, I tried to give one to the dribbles and they just kind of smelled it and ran away, which is weird because they smell so strong. Do you think they'd really like it? So I, this one's the strawberry apple. I also have a strawberry apple that I bought myself. And I also bought peach. I thought peach would be good. It smells so strong of peach. Um, what's really funny is, um, it's been I'm not lazy and I don't want to get up, but the Canadian bottle looks completely different than this American one. Even though it's exactly the same thing. So there's a little bit of sugar in this, but not too much. So you can definitely give one to your dwarfs as well. Just don't give them as much if you're one to give treats a little often. Um, I haven't given one of these to anyone in a while because I have so many treats. So I haven't gone that at all yet. Um, I have these are, I got rid of the package, but in my haul video when I got the gerbils, these are the National Geographic um, like hamster gerbil snaps. They're called something snaps. And of course this is not going to open in one hand. I've given, I gave a piece of it, I broke it in half, even though they're small to begin with, but basically you get three rows, and in the rows you can, you break them off like this, but I actually broke this in half again, because they're not, I thought they were going to be like sticky, like you know when you buy like honey sticks, I thought that's what this was, but there's like no honey on it, like it's not sticky, it's very dry, so you can break it in half really easily. So I gave half of one of these small pieces to the gerbils, and they didn't really like it. Like, they didn't touch it much. So I ended up taking it and throwing it out. And then I gave two small pieces to the dwarfs, and they seemed to like it because it disappeared. I didn't want to give any to the Syrians right away because they had a honey stick each in their cage. So I figured they don't need one of these snaps on top of a honey stick. Because obviously the honey stick has more sugar in it. Um, like I said, I got rid of the package and that wasn't a good idea because now I don't know what the ingredients are. But I don't think these are too sugary. I think these are pretty safe for dwarfs. I wouldn't give a, like, I've never given honey sticks to my dwarfs. Okay, well, I'll fix that later. Um, I have just millet, which I've had this forever. I don't know why I bought such a big bag thinking I'm going to use it. And I got this at the bulk burn, so it was really cheap. Just millet. Oh, the millet's falling off. And I have that. This is also safe for dwarf Syrians, whatever. I find the dwarfs like it more than Syrians. Um, this is another thing I don't have the package anymore, so you guys are going to hate me. This is the Boredom Breakers. I can't even remember what they're called. Like cheddar marbles. Something marbles, they're called. All right, it's all natural ingredients. And there's cheese and just... There's not many ingredients in it. I remember that. It was a short list of ingredients. It's cheddar and some other natural stuff, and it's safe for all types of hamsters. I usually just drop in one in their bowl. Oh, and before I keep going, um, I change what I give my hamsters every time I feed them, and I feed them like once every like three days. So like I might feed them and give them one of these in each bowl, and then that's it that they get as a treat. And then three days later, I'll give. The Gerber Pups, and then three days later I'll give some millet, and three days later I'll give in 
whatever else I end up talking about, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get a, a bunch of stuff at once. So, that is the treat. Um, here comes something more sugary. I have done my dwarfs this, but I don't know if it's recommended. Maybe if you break it in half. I usually give, I've given more to my Syrians, so though, because I'm kind of also saving it. I can't get these in Canada, at least I can't get them where I am in Canada. That's the Wild Harvest Big Shop Treat, the croissants. They smell really good. And I know they're sugary because the ingredient is sugar. Right there. Sugars. Wheat flour, dried milk, glycerin, sugars, dried egg. So yeah, there is sugar in it, but it smells so good. I haven't given these in a while, so I might give these the next time I give them food. I just gave them food last night. I can't remember what they got. I think they got one of these cheddar marbles and oats or something. I also have these browned select seeds treat. I've had this for a while now, like a while. But they're just mixed seeds. So I don't give it too often because their food usually contains some of these, like the pumpkin seeds. But they have nice striped sunflower seeds since I don't have striped sunflower seeds as an add-on. I have plain black sunflower seeds. So this is really good because it's just different seeds. Always. Yeah, ingredients. Striped sunflower seed, pumpkin seeds, squash seeds, cantaloupe seeds, and watermelon seeds. That's it. So this is pretty good, especially if you have a dwarf. And like, obviously that's not anything to be worried about too much. Um, well, then I have this that I got from Hammy Lux and... I haven't given the dwarfs this at all because of how big they are. I don't feel like breaking it in half. So these are the carrots. Carrot crunchies. They're off because like, you can tell they're really big. I don't know why I feel like I'm stuffed up all of a sudden, but anyways. So I've given one to Ruby and one to Brownie because I think there's only five in a package. And they loved it. They like dragged it away to their home. At least Brownie did. And I think Ruby did too. I might give one to the gerbils and see how they like it, since it's just alfalfa and carrot. TIG carrot, rice starch, dried alfalfa, happy roast starch. Mm, I guess preservatives. So yeah, I might give one to them. And then there will only be two left, which could be for ruby and brownie again, whenever I feel like giving them another one. <clears throat> so this is another thing I can't get in um, where I am. Actually, I think my local store had these. Like a long time ago when I only had the guinea pigs and not the hamsters. So I never bought them because I didn't think they were going to be good for the guinea pigs. Um, these are dog treats from the bulk burn. I did have the ingredients on... I was going to say, it's on my phone, but I'm using my phone film this. I have the ingredients on my desktop and I probably should have broke that out or had it up and ready to go because <clears throat> basically they're just mini, um, all natural they're called, cheddar dog biscuits. What I like about these is, why is there a fruit fly? I don't like those. What I like about these is they're like really high in protein. They're like 17% protein. Or 18. I think 17. They're really high because uh, milk bones aren't high in protein. They're good for like calcium probably, but not protein. They're like 11% or something, at least the ones I buy. So, so um, I can't remember the ingredients, but obviously there's cheddar in it. And it looks like there's oats or something, but they're pretty good. And I like, also what I like about them is they're not that big, so you can actually give like a whole one to your hamster. I don't know about the gerbils though, so I haven't given this yet. They do like milk bones though. I've given them a milk bone, broken up into three pieces so they don't fight over it. I have, I don't know about this, but the hamsters love this, and I do give it also to the dwarfs because I don't, you know, the sugar is not an ingredient, so there might be natural sugar, but it's not an add, like, added in. Speaking of milk bones, I do have milk bones, they're right here, I just get them also from the bulk barn, and it's just the mixed flavors, so there's like, I guess milk flavored, um, red is usually what beef, pink is usually pork I think. And then there's one that's like chicken or turkey. I think the brown's turkey or something. I do have that. I don't know why I don't have that many, but I usually break them up. I usually give half of one. They'll break one and 
do half and half for Ruby and Brownie. And I break up smaller pieces for the dwarves. Um, I don't know if this is counted a treat or a chew, but I'm going to show it. I haven't used this yet because it's so big and all my hamsters have a little mineral um, flower that I got from Nicole. So, and I, don't, and I don't think any of them have really touched that mineral stone, so I don't know who I should give this to. So I'm just keeping it <clears throat> until I find a good place or a good someone to give it to. Why do I feel like my hand can't hold the phone for long anymore without starting to get the shakes? I used to be able to make longer videos than this. I need like a phone tripod. That'd be great. Um, this is my new thing. Is the Munchie Medley Snacks. I had this a long time ago when I first had like my first hamsters. And the packaging was different, but it's the all living things. Um, I think this is safe for even dwarfs, just because I know there's raisins in it, but I don't think it's much. It's peanuts, striped sunflower seeds, raisins, green peas, pumpkin seeds, watermelon seeds, dates, carrots, sweet potatoes, cranberries, red lentils, puffed rice, puffed wheat, um, dried shrimp, dried mealworms. So it's got protein in it, but not that much. It says only 11%. Um, I still give this to, I haven't given it to any of my. Um, guys yet. I think I gave a little bit to the gerbils, but I haven't given any to the hamsters. So, but they will be getting it. And I know there's cranberries and dates and raisins in it, but I think it's still good for the dwarves as long as they don't get too much of it. I can't remember, but I think the price is pretty good on this, and you can just get this at PetSmart. Um, ooh, I have these. these. I've had these for a while. I really should get Pat to break some more up so I can feed it. But it's the brown small animal muffins. I find like all of my hamsters don't eat these. That's why I don't, haven't really fed them. Or what they'll do is they'll pick up the papaya from the muffins and then they won't touch the rest. There's a lot of hay in it, if I remember right. Ingredients. Wheat flour, sun cured timothy grass hay. Ground sweet potatoes, carrots, papaya, and calcium propanate, a preservative. So yeah, it's like a lot of hay. I mean, it's not like... I'm not going to give this to my guinea pigs because... I don't know. I don't know. A sweet potato is guinea pigs shouldn't really be having. So... I guess they could have it. But the hamster is definitely... There's so much hay in it, they don't really care about it. Maybe the gerbils would like it. I don't know where the expiry date is on this, because I've literally had this for a while now. Like, I think I got this from my local store, like, last year. <laughs> Proof of purchase. Nobody cares. Barrier bag locked for freshness. Yeah, even after a year? So apparently it's good forever. Oh, there you go. Um, what else? Oh, I got this, which is interesting because I've never seen this before. I actually don't really feed it a lot either. I was at a really crappy Target in Ottawa, and their small pet section was like nothing. Like they had, they had nothing. They did have this, so I picked it up because I've never seen it before. It's from Hearts, which is usually not really a good brand, but it's Tropical Trail Mix. It looks like this. It's definitely not really dwarf friendly. It's very sweet. Like there's bananas in it. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see here. What are we seeing? Oh, there's the ingredients. Small print at the bottom. So, dried papaya, dried pineapple, raisins, shelled peanuts, roasted. Soybeans, dried banana, dried cranberries, chipped shelled almonds, wheat flour, soybean oil, cornstarch, sugar, sesame seed, salt, whole wheat, palm oil, dried yogurt, dried skim milk, ground beet, turmeric, natural vanilla flavor. So yeah, it's not really, I think I've given the gerbil, I mean the gerbils, the dwarfs, um, the sesame thing. They, there was a bunch of like little balls that looked like sesames, and I had sesame on it. I didn't quite know what it was, and I think I just gave them one each of that, and that's about it. 
And I think I gave them a piece of the banana that's in there. And that's it. I usually give a little bit more to the Syrians. Because it's awfully sugary. Hopefully it's good for gerbils, but I don't know about that. It's awfully sugary. I'd rather give them like an actual blueberry or something. So yeah, I have that. Um, where's my good stuff? And by good stuff, I mean biscuits. Oh, I still have some of these. Not a lot, though. I obviously got them a bulk burn. And they're dog biscuits again, but they're peanut dog biscuits. Like, there's peanut butter in them. And I usually break them up, too, because I am i don't want the hamsters having too much peanut butter. But they love them. So, I didn't buy a lot, because I figured they'd last me a long time. And I still have, like, three and a half pieces left. Oh, that's good. Oh, I have, this is what I got from another YouTuber. It's actually KittyHeart011. Um, after she won my contest, I sent, and she, after she got my prize, she sent me some stuff. So this is, uh, I think this is the potato Gerber Puffs, which my uh, hamsters like. And these are the Carities from Burden Breakers, and they like these too. So I should probably buy these myself eventually. So I just have like a sample of that. So here are my biscuits. I did have marigold biscuits, just so you know, from um, Hagen Gourmet, but I'm out of them. So there's not that much in a package, unfortunately. So the only thing I have left now are like two of these left. It looks like this, flavored egg biscuits, and there were six, and they were massive, so I always break them up. Because it's like that's one biscuit, here to there. So I'm not going to give that to Amster, that's crazy. Even half of that's a lot, so I usually break it up in like quarters. I'm trying to figure out which one. Okay, this is a pea one, and that I think is an apple one, which looks like I've already broken into to give it to someone. But what you get is you get two apple, two coconut, and two pea ones. And so far, it doesn't matter what flavor they get, they're, everyone likes these. Um, yeah, and this is hamster only. I know for some reason Hagen basically says it's good for like all small animals and it will show a rabbit and stuff, but this has egg product in it and and or milk. So focus. Does that work? No? No? Public it's in a bag. Ingredients, dried egg product, ground wheat, sugar, wheat starch. Um, oat groats, wheat, wheat, dried apples, dried split peas, dried whey product, sorbitol, coconut, mono, and diglycerides of edible fats and oils. All right, sounds good. Sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, dried carrots, orange oil. Hmm. So yeah, I think it's get a small piece of that. Even though even the dwarfs get a small piece of this, but I preferred giving the dwarfs the marigold ones because marigold is obviously not like fruit or a sugary vegetable like peas. But I'm out of those so I can always buy them again though. Uh, what else do we got in here? I think that's about it. Oh I have this which I haven't used yet because I still don't know who I'm going to give it to. Plus my hamsters all have so much stuff right now in their cage. But I got this from Hamley Lux again. It's just a stuffed log. On this side it's just like honey seeds. It's like a honey stick stuffed in a log on this side. On this side it has alfalfa. I had one way back in the day, and my hamster really attacked this side, but didn't care at all for this side, so I'm not sure if they're going to care for this side. Unless I give it to the gerbils, and I'm not sure how good this is for them to have, but there's three of them, so it's not like one's going to be eating all of it. So I might end up giving it to them. Where's the ingredients in this? Pine with shavings, oh that's good. Yeah. Alfalfa, white millet, red millet. Milo, sunflower seed, wheat, whole corn, oat groats, buckwheat, safflower seed, honey, glycerin, it's not that bad. Might give it to the gerbils. Now we're done, right? These are chews. Chews don't count as a treat. 
And I don't know if I showed this, it's just oatmeal, which I'm almost out of. I gotta fill this little container up again. So that is all my treats. So there you have it. So this is basically all safe. Everything is really safe for Syrians. Some of it you might want to be careful with your dwarfs. Just be mindful of sugars when you're thinking about your dwarfs. At least diabetes prone dwarfs. Not all are diabetic prone. I think it's um, robos and Chinese. Chinese aren't dwarfs though technically, but Chinese hamsters um, I don't think they're prone to diabetes. I think it's just the winter whites and the campbells. Or camp bells, I don't know what I just said. So yeah, if you have any questions about anything, go ahead and ask. And thanks for watching.